Hey, Jed Jones here. How are you doing? Um, I want to talk to you a little bit today about how to do keyword research. And keyword research uh, comes in handy for a number of different areas related to working with the internet, uh, including website design, uh, uh, pay-per-click campaign management, search engine optimization, uh, really any of those areas use, uh, use keyword research, including even article marketing, for example where you're writing articles to get them ranked well in search engines. So uh, it's really essential uh, and really beneficial uh, for you to learn how to use uh, a, a top research tool, like um, in this case we're going to talk about Word Tracker, which is, I believe, one of the best tools out there. I use Word Tracker pretty much every day uh, and um, just really find it very valuable. So I want to show you uh, about how to use it. So let's jump right in. This will be a pretty quick module, but I want to uh, really all you need to know is can be learned very quickly. So let's jump in. Uh, under the Keyword Universe section, again, this is on the home page of Word Tracker. Click on Keyword Universe, and it brings us right to this page. I'm going to go ahead and type in a keyword over on the left. You always want to start on the left-hand side here with what I call a seed keyword. So a seed keyword for me is a word that starts my search. Uh, it's not where I end up, but it's a point of departure. And um, hmm, let's say we're going to do a website uh, with the theme of cooking, for example. So I'm going to go ahead and type in... Uh, cooking here and hit proceed and uh, it's going to go ahead and find all the words that it thinks that are related to cooking even words that don't necessarily have the word cooking in them so I'm going to scroll down you can see of course cooking came up at the top it also came up with words like recipes food dinner etc it goes out on websites that have the word cooking and finds related words that's how it does that by the way and I'm going to go ahead now and generate a whole bunch of words related to the word cooking okay these might be called long tail keywords by some folks. Go ahead and click on the word that you like on the left. And immediately on the right, it will, it will churn out somewhere between 0 and 300 uh, other related words. So because I chose cooking over on the left, on the right it came up with the first uh, word. And by the way, they're ranked uh, by frequency of search. So the frequency of search per day for that given keyword on average. Uh, turkey cooking time uh, kind of beats everyone else with in this category with uh, 1,843 approximately. This is all uh, a predicted number, of course, but based on their database of, of hundreds of millions of terms, they d decided that this word gets uh, searched about that often. And um, if you, But if you notice, there's just all kinds of cooking-related words here. So let's say I want to I actually take those words and put them on my website or in my AdWords campaign or even bake them into a title for an article. Well, the first thing I want to do is actually export them into my shopping cart just like you would. Now Word Tracker is a prepaid service where you pay one time and you get to use it pretty much unlimited on an unlimited basis. Um, but they still call it a shopping cart. So let's go ahead and add some to our shopping cart. And I'm going to go ahead and click and I'm going to add all the words. So it, again, it, told, it, it said there were 300 words and there are. I, I searched that you can see all these different words down here. I want all of them. I want all 300. So I'm going to click on this link and all 300 get put right into my basket at the bottom so that's pretty useful I think. Now let's go ahead and choose a couple more before we export these words and I'm going to go ahead and choose the word recipes and uh, okay and then again recipes was remember that's one of the words that came up when we clicked on when we when we searched for cooking up here uh, when I clicked on recipes it can you can see on the right it generated another 300 words on the right here uh, all with the word recipe in it. So these are all keywords with the word recipe, uh, in this case recipes, uh, with an S, in those keywords. So again, there's just a whole bunch here. I'm going to go ahead and go crazy and, and take all those keywords, but let's say I want to only take a couple. I could just click on the ones that I want, and it will automatically add them into my shopping cart down below. But I'm going to go ahead and add them all, and I'm going to go ahead and bring us to step three. Now you could, you could keep doing this and keep getting words if you want to, but let's go ahead and, and check out, so to speak. I'm going to click on this arrow down here for step three. And um, I can do a couple of things. I can email these words to myself or someone else. Uh, I can go ahead and just export them right now. I'm going to go ahead and choose the export function. Um, or I can do a competition search, which will be covered in my module two of this short series. So let's go ahead and um, click on uh, export keywords. I see all these keywords here. I'm going to use the fancy control A feature on my computer and go ahead and control C and, and copy those. Now I've got all those keywords. Now I can go ahead and put them, if I'd like, into, for example, an Excel file. 
and I'm going to go ahead and uh, paste those and clean this up a little bit. And there, of course, I clicked on the wrong button. And uh, there I've got this really nice list of uh, 600 words. So that's pretty cool. And I could go ahead and bring those right into my campaign. Or if you want, you can go ahead and go through and, and handpick those that you want um, or delete the ones you don't want, etc. One way I like to do that, by the way, is I'll just go down and put, put like a number one next to the ones I like. Um, and then I'll, you can, at the end you can sort them uh, by that and it will actually, um, you know, you can go ahead and just get the ones you want and put those in your website keyword metadata or your AdWords campaign or what have you. Okay, so that's uh, part one of our module. And part two will actually be talking about how to do this exact same thing for uh, keyword research for uh, an article, like an easy article. Okay, see you in module two.